These parents recently welcomed the seventh generation of their farm family, even as fears are mounting about their future. It's scary because, yeah, it is one more thing, one more stress to add to a, a farmer, um, specifically here in the prairies where we depend very highly on our rail service. Um, we, we need to get our crops to market. So if we can't get that to our customers, that's a big problem for us here in our small little town. Although less than two days old, the CP work stoppage is yet another logistical blow to an already fragile system. Before the labour dispute, CP was moving almost 49,000 rail cars every week. It's the most critical uh, mode of delivery in, in the country. Which means it's a growing concern here amid calls for back-to-work legislation. So what will the government do to immediately address this situation? The Labour Minister acknowledging the timing is terrible. Canada's supply chains are still reeling from the BC floods from COVID-19 and now a Russian invasion of Ukraine. I am here in Calgary. I am urging the parties to reach an agreement. Not everyone is in favour of government intervention. And instead, there should be pressure applied on the employer to return to the negotiating table and to work out a deal with workers. But industry and farm groups are calling on the government to take quick and decisive action to end this dispute. This could be the most devastating thing that we've seen. As he checks on his barley, this farmer is torn. Luckily, we live in a place like Canada where people do have the right to strike and the, the right for workers to stand up for a better living wage, and I support that as well. Negotiations are ongoing with the help of a federal mediator. Neither side is talking about the progress, but there's no doubt they're feeling the pressure too. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.